So today I wanted to share with you all our cut vinyl. So if you go to a restaurant, carry out neighborhood store, you see these vinyl graphics similar to this one on the front of the window, on the drive through, maybe even in the parking lot. But I wanted to share with you a step-by-step -step of how we import the job, set up the job, print the job, and then trace the job out so it'll contour cut that job out. And we'll start right now. All right, so we have our job all set up here. Uh, our Henry Soul Cafe. If you notice in this graphic, um, we already have a transparent background. Uh, that's important because when you're setting up the contour, you see that white stroke going around it. There's a white outline. Because this graphic is going on the storefront door as well as the storefront windows, um, those windows are tinted. So if we didn't have that white stroke around it, it would make it um, harder to see. I don't know the right term, but it would be it would not be as transparent and as vibrant if we didn't have that stroke around the graphic. So in order to do that, to set this job up, we're going to have to do what's called a color overlay. And that's going to create a solid image that we'll then import into Illustrator. And then I'll show you here... <clears throat> In Illustrator, you would then place the job, um, excuse me, place the file, the black image that we just created. You place that to the same parameters as the graphic that you already have on your screen. And the reason we do it as a solid black is because what we're going to do is we're going to basically do an image trace of that black image. So we're going to have a, that black image on the top layer. And we're going to go ahead and do a image trace there. And then after we do that, we're going to up in the top menu, hit expand. That'll now create the contour line, the, the vector lines. And we'll use our selector tool to select the white background and hit delete. That'll get rid of the transparent background. And then clicking on the black image, the contour image, in order for this rolling machine that we're going to run this job on, we want to set the fill to transparent. So nothing there, no color. And on the outline, we want to set it to 100% magenta. For our Roland 300V uses um, a 100% magenta to know where to cut. And you actually have to name that file correctly. So I'll do that here. Uh, for this presentation. So you want to create a new swatch and the name of that swatch for this machine has to be cut with a capital C contour and contour with a capital C. You then also on the color type you want to make it a spot color and then make sure 100% magenta and zero on all other colors. Hit OK. Obviously for this presentation we already have that um, swatch already set up. So we're going to click on that swatch that we just created, the cut contour. We're going to change our stroke to 0.25 so it'll be a nice thin line. And then if I zoom in here, you can now see that magenta contour cut line all the way around our graphic. So let's go ahead and head over to the printer. Let's get this job rolling and uh, I'll see you in a sec. All right, so the job is now just finishing. As I said, now that it has fully printed, the machine is now feeding it back, we'll be feeding it backwards into the machine. So what it's actually doing now is cutting around all of the words, around all of the graphic, 
uh, the picture, the photo, everything in the image. And guys, I have to mention this machine saves so much time. Uh, other devices, you would actually have to print it with registration marks on it. When it's finished, take it off, load it into another machine, and then it would do the contour cut there. This machine is wonderful because it does it all in one. You don't you don't have to take this one job and put it on multiple um, devices. You can do it all at the same time. So we're going to let it finish cutting, and then I'll take you over to our flat table where we'll go ahead and what's called weed out. So we're going to peel off the excess material that we don't need, so then we can transfer that image directly uh, onto the door and to the front windows of this business. All right, so the print is all done. As you can see, nice, vibrant, high gloss. And what we're going to do here is what's called weeding. So I'm going to take my little tweezers here that I have. These are a great little weeding tool. And we're going to now pick out the graphic. Or excuse me, not the graphic. We're going to pick out the excess material. So we're peeling off the stuff we don't need because the contour cut all the way around this image. We're going to easily just tear away all of the excess material. Which, if you guys have a nice sharp blade on your print press, it makes weeding so easy. And then it's actually, it's so intricate when it cuts, it actually cut around these letters. So then I can go in with my tool and then just peel out the material that is basically waste. We don't need that because this is going to be a transparent image on the front window of this cafe. So get rid of that. And then we just have a couple little areas inside some of these letters. Get that out. And it just makes it so easy on the application when you're doing the install um, actually on the windows, you know, or maybe it's on the back of a vehicle. Uh, we use these vinyl, uh, adhesive vinyl material on all sorts of applications. Right, so, last little thing is down here on this S. Now we have that, and then around the H here. And there you go. So now everything that is not needed is no longer here. So in order to transfer this image onto a glass storefront or the back of a vehicle or whatever it may be, we take a transfer tape and apply that transfer tape down. And the reason you want to do this is this becomes what they call the carrier. So if if I had this think about it, if I had to peel just this graphic off, there would be nothing to hold it. As you see this material, let me get a piece of it. But it's it's thin, you know, it's going to fold over and it's going to stick and it's going to jumble up uh, to the point where you're going to waste that graphic. You're going to end up having to print it, cut it, and weed it all over again. So by using this application tape or transfer tape, it acts as, its, as the carrier. So then you can peel, if you can imagine, peel the graphic off. And then this transfer tape acts as, as the bonding so that when you put it onto the window graphic, you now have a carrier for it 
in which you apply it, the adhesive sticks to the window, and then all you have to do is peel this tape off, and now you have a nice smooth image on your substrate or window or vehicle or whatever you're applying it to. So let's do one more tape. Tape that down. I'll take my burnisher tool and just smooth it all out. If there's any air bubbles in between the tape and the graphics, that could affect how it transfers to this window. So now we're going to smooth it all out. And that's all you have. It's now on there. And so what I was referencing on transferring, so now with this tape, because it'll act as a carrier, when I go to peel this transfer tape off, the graphic now comes up with it, right? So you don't have to worry about that, that graphic folding over or flipping around on you or whatever it may be. So guys, look, if this was helpful, Please give me a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you like this content. Also, comment below because I want to know from you guys, you know, certain things that you're interested in that we might take for granted here in the print shop because it's stuff that we do every single day. And, you know, comment below. Let me know if you want to learn about banners or other signage or postcards. You know, all of these things are, you know, to us, we take for granted because we do it every single day. But we do understand that this content is giving you information and knowledge that you might be willing to learn more about. So talk to you guys soon. This is Chris Birch.